So the 16 Pro is supposed to charge at 25 watts with the new MagSafe power adapter. This is the updated revised adapter with the braided cable and apparently it charges at 25 watts. We're gonna see in this video if it actually charges at 25 watts. So in my first test, I want to see how long it takes to charge this phone from one to 100% with this charger. I'm using a 96 watt Apple USB-C power adapter for this test. Apple's website says anything over 30 watts should be able to do 25 watt MagSafe fast charging. So within the first six minutes, we hit 10%. And then we kept on climbing pretty steadily. At 1 a.m. it was at about 40%. At 1.11 we hit 50% less than an hour later. I thought the iPhone was supposed to charge 50% in 30 minutes, but this took over 30 minutes with this charger. We started getting very slow charging around 90%, and then we finally hit 100% exactly 111 minutes after starting the test. So now I have a power bank which can read out the wattage and we're going to see how many watts this thing pulls in. From one to 20%, we're pulling from 14 to 20 watts pretty consistently. We're only getting about 10 to 15 watts after 25%, which is really slow as far as modern fast charging phones go. Then after 60% we start to slowly drop down to about 8 watts. Then we're going from like 0.1 watts to around 10 watts max from 80 to 100%. This is normal even though it's annoying it's normal for most phones. iPhones just have a really aggressive limiter at like 0.1 watts which is basically nothing around 80%. I didn't see any part where this phone actually drew in 25 watts. I don't know if that's a Pro Max thing, but as far as Apple's website says, it's just the 16 series gets 25 watt fast charging. I've seen videos where they have reached around 30 watts on MagSafe on the Pro Max, but as far as the Pro is concerned, I can't get it to reach anything more than like 21 watts. So next, I'm going to see how much power a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip can pull in from the new MagSafe charger. The fastest that this thing would charge was 5.9 watts it didn't go anything over 5.9 watts which makes me think there is some sort of a limiter whether that's in the phone or the MagSafe pad itself at 5.9 watts so I guess it just can't go over that whatsoever that's unfortunate for Android users but I guess that um, most Android users would probably rather use some sort of Samsung or Google wireless charger anyway, so that's how it performs on the Galaxy Z Flip 3. I don't know about newer phones because those probably have Qi 2 compatibility. So it looks like the new MagSafe charger really doesn't do 25 watts on the Pro phones. Maybe the Pro Max, I'm not sure. I guess that um, it does charge a little bit faster than the old MagSafe charger. That's just my test though. I'm sure there's other tests and the power bank can put out a maximum of 100 some watts, I believe. So it's definitely not the power bank at fault. But with that said, if you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.